Hi, in this video I'll show you two easy and low cost solutions to connect Open Sprinkler to your wireless router without the need of using a long Ethernet cable. To begin, Open Sprinkler has a built in Ethernet port, but it does not yet have built in Wi Fi. Now, obviously, you can connect it directly to your router through a wired Ethernet cable. But this can be inconvenient because your router may be uh, placed far away from where Open Sprinkler is located. So how do we solve this problem? The first solution is to use a pair of power line network adapters. These adapters can create a wired connection between two devices using your mains power line as the transmission medium. The way they work is by injecting encrypted signals into the power line allowing two devices to communicate with each other as if there is an Ethernet cable between them. The package comes with two adapters and two short Ethernet cables. To start, plug one adapter into a power socket uh, near your router and use one of the Ethernet cables to link the adapter uh, with your router. Please plug the adapter either directly into a wall outlet or use an extension cable that does not have built-in surge protector. Please do not use power strips because they typically have built-in uh, surge protectors that will either filter out or interfere with power line signals. Next, plug the other adapter into a wall outlet or an extension cable near your open sprinkler and use the other Ethernet cable to link the adapter to your open sprinkler. After the adapter is powered on, the link signal uh, will light up, indicating that the communications between the two power line adapters have been established. Then turn on Open Sprinkler. You will see that the Ethernet indicator will start blinking, indicating that the Open Sprinkler is now communicating with the adapter. And that's it. So this is the simplest solution because it involves no software configuration. The only thing to keep in mind is to plug the adapter into a wall outlet or a simple extension uh, cable. Do not use power strips. Power line adapters are available from many manufacturers such as TP-Link and Netgear. And the price ranges between $25 to $40. Just to search power line network adapter on Amazon and you will see plenty of options. And usually 200 uh, megabps is uh, more than enough for Open Sprinkler. Now let me tell you the second solution, which uses a pocket-sized Wi-Fi adapter like this one. This solution is actually lower cost, but it does involve some software configurations. The way it works is by using this Wi-Fi adapter to create a wireless interface for Open Sprinkler. The package comes with the adapter. A, a short Ethernet cable, a micro USB cable, and a USB power adapter. To begin, plug in the micro USB cable and wait for the adapter to power on. Once it's powered on, it will create its own Wi Fi network. The name usually starts with TP Link, so this is mine. If you look at the label on the back of the adapter, it tells you the exact SSID and the password. So log on to this Wi Fi network using the provided password. Once you are connected to this network, look at the label on the back of the adapter again. This shows you the router's default hostname or IP address and the login username and password. In my case, the hostname is tplinklogin.net, and the username and password are both admin, A-D-M-I-N. 
So open a browser and type in tplinklogin.net and use the username and password to log in. And then you should see this configuration page like this. So next we are going to go to Quick Setup uh, and we will configure the adapter in client mode. In this mode, the adapter will log on to your home router and allow OpenSprinkler to communicate with your router wirelessly through the adapter. If you know your router's SSID, you can type it in here directly, or you can use the survey button to search nearby networks. Then type in your Wi-Fi password. After you've completed an information, click on Next and Reboot. This will restart the adapter uh, in client mode. Finally, you can link the adapter with your OpenSprinkler using this short Ethernet cable and turn on OpenSprinkler. And that's it. Now the OpenSprinkler can talk to your router wirelessly through this adapter. These Wi-Fi adapters are also available online and the price ranges between $15 to $25. Just the search for pocket router or travel router on Amazon and you should see plenty of options. Okay, that's all. Thanks for watching this video.